Ah! 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 Why he's ironing your skin right this? That's all you got. Go that is bullshit. There's no way burning it off. It can't be that fucking easy. Is it gone? Is it gone? No, it's not gone. All it did was gave you a sunburn. That was done. Heidi's back. Last time she was in town, she attacked Isabel thinking she was my girlfriend, and I don't want her to attack my, my actual girlfriend. I appreciate that, but I don't need a bodyguard. Wait. What? I know. What? I here, though. So we can... Whoa. Did he just... I thought they... I didn't know they were... What? I thought they were not together anymore. But he, oh my god, does he think they're together, but she doesn't think, like, she doesn't want that? Oh my fucking god, what's she about to talk? Don't break his heart. Talk. Talk, don't break his heart, please. Yeah? I'll just say, they haven't, I they haven't seemed see. together. <laughs> oh, do, do not break his heart. So She's gonna break your heart. Uh, actually, it's about the pack. Oh. It's a mess. She's gonna be like, ugh. So, I, I think I gotta step it up. And that means she's gonna leave take on a bigger role. relationships behind. Yeah. Fuck. But in order to do that, I have to put the pack first. Oh my There's everything outside of that, like a relationship, has to come second. And Simon, you don't deserve to come second. You deserve someone who will love you, the heart and soul. She's right. And she does love you, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> I understand. Mm -hmm. My baby. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. What we had was amazing, right? Yeah. With the shadow world against us, we proved to them that a wolf and a vampire could be together. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They had a good fucking relationship. Oh, we had. It's changed. Yeah. And we both feel it. And it... It has nothing to do with the shadow world. It's just... I don't know. It's just... It's just, it's just human. Yeah. Oh, look. This is like a good breakup. You're an amazing guy. Yeah, he is. Do you know that? He is! He's making me cry! I love Maya and I love him! get their family and friends discount on no negative as well. Mm. Oh my god, this is- Always. <laughs> they have- I love that they I both- I hope they know what they're getting. Respect each other. The wolves. I love this. This is such a healthy breakup. That was very healthy. I love that. I mean, I don't like that they broke up, but I, I think it was good for both of them. I don't think Simon's in the in the. I think Simon needs to figure himself out right now. He had a big change, a lot of back and forth. She needs to. She's in a position where she needs to figure herself out. They're both in that position, and I just think them coming to this understanding is great. They disrespected us. Oh shit! Get over it, buddy. I tried to warn you. She's playing these guys worse. like a fiddle. Must we do something about it? Must we fight back? Oh no! So we have a new threat now, dude. What about Jonathan? We didn't get any Jonathan this episode, so I'm confused where his story is going because I really don't know. How the fuck is that just happening and no one knows that? Inside. Inside where? Inside himself? Isn't it working? This is already dead. Who is this? What? And what? The eye contact. He's looking at her lips. Yeah. Do it, do it. Yes. That's. Yeah. He deserves to be happy. He deserves to have a relationship on the show other than his daughter. She probably get started with this book. And she yeah. deserves good too because the dad's a cunt. Hi, 
I should go. Guys, it doesn't need to be awkward. I like it as you want to see me. You're both smoking hot. Uh, be smoking hot in the same bed. That was weird. I think they should have had more of a moment there. That was underwhelming. <laughs> He's like, got it. Uh, yeah, they should have had more of a talk after that. I don't, I, think, I don't like that whole abrupt kiss and then leave thing. I don't like that. I like the song. I can't, that was cute. Oh my god, he's kissing her properly. Oh my god, he's not eating her face. Whoa, whoa! He learned how to kiss! Can you believe this? Wow, she's adorable. Oh, no, he's eating her. No, it's okay. Shit. 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 She's on top. No, he's eating her face again. Never mind. By the angel. Oh my fucking god, I see where she gets it from. It's genetic. Yo, Alec, you look. Your hair is. He had, did he change his hair? His hair looks fucking amazing in this episode. I like that. Holy fuck, he looks good. What the fuck? Dude, I, I miss you. I miss you. Dude, that's fucking creepy. Oh, shit. That's the creepiest shit that's happened on this show. Oh my god, do you think when they had sex that Jonathan felt the... You know, like, did he? do you think he felt Jace's dick? Because, I mean... They experience... They, they share every other feeling. Oh my god. He's probably jealous. Jade Wolf is right around the corner. Are we ready? Oh! I'm not so sure this is a good idea. No, no, no. Oh my fucking god. They broke into our hotel, assaulted the head of the clan. Yeah, but it was on a- The guys had to pay for what they did. They didn't do anything, really. They didn't hurt any of you badly. The fuck? She's right, Griff. What is their logic? She right. killed one of theirs. They aggressively interrogate them. The vampires, as they should. And now, like, we gotta go kill all of them because they assaulted us. What? Fucking. Let's teach you a lesson. Dude, I need to teach you a lesson. Not even in the good way, either. Like, you're not gonna like it. What now? Do you go back to the Praetor? Where you? If Maya gets hurt. Are you just leaving? Oh, I promise I'll bitch slap everyone. There's no reason for me to stay. Oh, my. F don't. Please do not turn this into, like, <laughs> let's get back together thing. Hand them over. Oh, shit. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I mean, get him out of here now, dude. Oh, the vampires are gonna win. Wolves have no fucking chance. Oh shit! Maya just fucking. <laughs> the way she slammed that dude's head down. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. Oh shit! Oh my god. Maya, turn around! Oh! Oh fuck! I mean, I'm glad it was him. Oh! Oh, this is sick. This is a good fight scene. That was good. Oh shit, dude! I think I was gonna wait for him to go out. Him to go out. Though. I respect him a lot. Right now. That was fucking gruesome. Fuck. Dude, that was a vicious attack. That was 
one of the better fight scenes they've done this scene that throughout the show actually. Come on, in here! That was fucked. Oh fuck, dude, they're cornered! Simon got sick for something. Oh my fucking god. It's bad. It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. Fuck! Dude, they have like 10 seconds max. Of course they fucking end up there. Oh wait, I have tons of episodes to watch. We should go right into it. Alright, that was one of the most, that was the like most exciting scene this, this episode, wow. Alright guys, so that was season 3, episode 13. I, one of the slower episodes this, uh, this half, this season actually, one of the slower ones, probably the slowest, one of the slowest at least. Uh, it was, a lot of it I feel like was, fi not filler, like there was story to it, but it wasn't as important as everything else, but I do think it, if it set up some, it, like it's tying up loose ends. Like I just feel like they didn't have to. They don't have to throw in the Heidi storyline. Like they could, they could have cut that off. I don't think anyone was worried about that. Like the show's ending. I think that storyline is the least of their problems. But they, I feel like they just brought it back to like fill up an episode. Uh, not bad. It definitely wasn't a bad episode. It was slower. Um, it, it carried through. Uh, it it didn't really carry through Izzy's storyline at all. Like I thought, you know, with her, you know, them bringing her up, I thought they would at least progress her story and like her situation a little bit more but they didn't really do anything like they went on this quest to find something the root for her and, and it, they didn't actually conclude it nothing they didn't do anything like they didn't show us the conclusion to that so that i'm like what the hell um clary and jace getting back together trying attempting to take the rune off failing again nothing really they didn't find anything out from that other than the fact that they know they can take it off they just don't know how yet uh magnus again just nothing really with him nothing with malik at all which is I guess that's telling why this was slow. <laughs> um, no, uh, and then, uh, Ale yeah, Alex just went with Izzy. Uh, Luke, I think there was some, with Luke and uh, um, Marie Maurice, is that, that, was that the mom's name? Luke and the mom, uh, again, trying to find the the sword, but not not really making like any real progress. Like, like they, they, you know what I mean? Like, they, they didn't actually get anywhere. Like, they, I don't, you know what I mean? It was just, like, really slow. I wish they would just bang through it and find the sword already. But the good thing about that is they, they had their their little moment that's been building up throughout the entire season. Uh, they had their little kiss. Uh, it was kind of underwhelming. They didn't really talk about it much. I think they should have talked about it more. They should have had a scene, an emotional scene. Um, and then Simon... Uh, Simon and Maya. That was, I'd say, the most important part of this episode was just Simon's character. Uh, Simon and Maya... Uh, their breakup, I loved, I don't like the fact that they broke up, but I do, because I do like them as a couple, but, again, I, you know, I, the way he said it, like, they kind of just drifted apart, the audience felt that as well, like, I, I don't feel a spark there with them anymore, every time I saw them on screen now, I'm kind of just like, I don't really feel it anymore, like, I don't, I don't think they're, like, meant to be anymore, like, before it was like, they're great, but now it's just like, they've taken too much time off, they've kind of toned down the story a lot, I was surprised, I didn't even know they were still together, I thought that was it, I thought they were done, because of how much it didn't feel like they were together, so I wasn't really expecting that, I didn't know they were together, to be honest, because they weren't acting like it, um, yeah, Maya's, so, the, the breakup was good, I do like how they both have a mutual respect for each other, it was very, it was a very healthy breakup, I like that a lot, I do like that they're going to continue going forward, uh, just being friends and, and respecting each other and knowing that they're both great people, that's just not the right time for them. And it's just, maybe it wasn't meant to be. They had a good run. They they had a great relationship. And it's just health that they break up now. Like, they don't want problems. They, they've never had issues with each other. They don't, they don't have problems. They didn't fight. So I think that, that was good that they ended off on that type of note. I just, uh, I hope that... I, I'm going to get into that in a second, actually, to, to Maya's, Maya's character individually. But, uh, yeah, I'm also Maya is taking over the pack. Uh, well, now she has to because the leader's gone. Um, but yeah, her and and then we saw um, Jordan leave. He says he's leaving, and then you can kind of see something between him and Maya there. Uh, I don't know if I'm. I don't. I don't think I want to see. I don't know if they're gonna. I don't want them to use that as such a like. I don't want to use them, use it as like. Oh, he's leaving, and she's like, oh, give me a reason to stay, and then she's like, oh, stay for me. I don't want this. I, they can't. If if they get together. I'm going to be mad as fuck because the thing is, if, if they get together, they ruined Simon and Maya for nothing because she literally said she's leaving him because she needs to focus on herself. She needs to focus on the clan. If she gets with him, Jordan, there's no, what, what, 
that was dumb. Then then she she didn't have to break up with, with Simon. So that's kind of contradicting itself. They can't go like jump from right from Simon to, to jumping into Jordan when she has other stuff going on. They need to prioritize her character a little bit better, which I don't know how that's going to go. I feel like there's going to be really sloppy writing with that. I hope that doesn't go down that direction. Uh, but yeah, so he's hurt. They, they had that whole, that whole scene with, with, with uh, the vampires raiding uh, the wolf pack. I, first of all, I think it's dumb. It was a really dumb thing for them to do because it makes no sense. Heidi killed one of theirs. They interrogated them a little bit. Of, they're a little bit aggressive, but like big whoop. Uh, and and then they're like, okay, they can't. They can't disrespect us like that. We gotta go take them down. That was dumb. They didn't really do anything bad. Uh, the wolves. So them attacking them was dumb reasoning. Again, kind of shitty writing. But the scene was. It made for an amazing scene. I do like the way the scene was executed. It was amazing. Choreography was great. Like. The whole fight scene was done very, very well. It was it was sick. It was one of the most entertaining scenes, one of the most exciting scenes I've seen in a while on the show. The fighting was great. Maya kicked ass. Uh, and, and then uh, Jordan sacrificed himself to save Maya, which, again, I feel like they're setting it up for a relationship thing, and I don't, I don't like that. Uh, and then you saw the leader of the pack kind of stayed behind and was fighting them and got killed in the process. And I do like the way that I... I needed to get rid of him. I like I wanted them to get rid of him. I don't I didn't like him at all, but I do like the way they took him out. I think that was great. I kind of respect him a little more for that. And uh, you kind of, kind of saw the nod they gave each other him and Maya where he's just like take on like you kind of you kind of could see it in his eye like take on the pack like it's yours. Take care of them. Uh and like it was just like a a, a look of fear. Like it's we're in a tough spot now. Now we're locked, locked in the fucking room. I don't they ended it in such a fucking crazy spot. Like they're going to there's a bunch of vampires out there. They're going to ambush then, like, someone's got to swoop in and say them. I don't know who it's going to be. But anyways, yeah, guys, it was an alright episode. It didn't really pick up until the end. I was kind of, I don't want to say bored, just really slow paced up until the end there. 7 out of 10. Uh, I was alright. I did like all the, I do like the Maya and Simon stuff. I like the Simon individual stuff. I like the Maya individual stuff. I do like the pack, you know, all that type of stuff. Uh, it was cool, but I feel like there's a lot of loose ends that kind of move very slowly this episode. But anyways, it was alright. 7 out of 10. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm going to go ahead and try to get into episode 14 tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited to get back into it, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy that. Drop a like if you guys did. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Follow me on Twitter. I mean, Snapchat. All that good stuff is in the description below. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode down there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys very, very soon.